Four and six year old girls along with their stepfather found stabbed to death inside their Arkadelphia home. Thank you for watching tonight. I'm Christina Munoz. And I'm Scott Inman. The girl's mother was the first one to discover the horrific crime. Channel 7's Janelle Lilly has been following this story all day and has the latest from Arkadelphia tonight. Janelle. Well, Scott, Arkadelphia is generally not known for crime, but this makes four murders and one attempted murder in just a week. What we do know right now, though, the details are slowly coming in, is that six-year-old Adelie, four-year-old Marley, and their stepfather, Bobby Galbraith, known in the community as Chino, were brutally murdered, and the killer is still on the loose. A couple streets down, you might expect something like this, but not, not this neighborhood. It seems it's always a quiet neighborhood and a loving family. These cliches make stories like this one fit into a box, makes them easier to understand. But nothing, no cliche, no comforting phrase can make this brutal stabbing death of two young girls and their stepfather easy to understand. Old friend and soon to be new neighbor Amanda Akers brought flowers to lay at the home, but couldn't get past the police tape. A mother herself, her heart aches for the girl's mom, Anna. Just the thought of her going to have Christmas without her baby girls. It's not right. It's not. But they're in better hands. Right now, state police say the killer is still on the loose. The investigation is ongoing and we are pursuing numerous leads. But even if a suspect is identified and caught, this tragic story will not become any easier to understand. Why? I mean, not only did she know, but why the little girls? Why? They, they've absolutely done nothing. Despite the reports that have been out today, and there was also a six-month-old baby in the home at the time of the murders, but that infant was not harmed. Back to you guys. I'm sure everyone there wants to know why, and just one of the questions that have not been answered tonight, we know that state police have said they won't rest until this killer is caught. So if the killer's on the loose, is there any danger to the community, Janelle? Yeah, that's a great question, Scott, and one that we asked Sheriff Watson. He told us that there is no danger to the community as far as they can tell at this point. Of course, everyone should still be cautious, and if they have any tips in this, go ahead and call police. But as of right now, folks in the surrounding area should not be concerned for their safety. Live in Arkadelphia, Janelle Lilly, Channel 7 News. All right, Janelle, thank you very much.